Hello there. We're back at the allotments. Another month, another tour. Um, only done a little bit this month. I had some surprise surgery that I wasn't expecting to have uh, on one of my eyes. Um, so I've been a little bit laid up this month. But we have managed to do a few things. And everything is growing. Which is always lovely to see. Like what's, what's new and what's growing. Um, so we have here it's wild it's for nature these things are starting to grow and um, you'll probably see them next month they're a really beautiful orange flower that comes up uh, and they used to grow like really prolifically down that end um, and when they were there the old couple used to have one of the sites gave me a clump of them so I put them there and they're really, really pretty. I think some, some are over there as well, but I can't remember, but they're lovely. So if they bloom before next month, I will I'll probably put a little thing to show you because they're really nice. My roses are green. This needs a little tidy up. It's gone a bit wild. It does its own thing. But I generally get in there and I give it a little tidy. So that, that's due a tidy. I kind of... It's got like, the bees have been absolutely loving it. It's got like little, little flowers on it. But everything else is growing. Uh, I knew I did this job. So that was at the back there and I just painted it. It needs another coat of paint. I've been keeping the bird seed in there, uh, which uh, I forgot to bring the box with me. I took the box home to fill it up because it was empty and I was like, oh, I'll go and feed the birds and I'll do a little tour and I forgot to bring the food for the birds <coughs> so um, I'll have to bring that later yeah look at these beep, beep. Um, because I put some more bird feeders in uh, everything else is kind of the same here look at this tree look at this tree I've just been oh there's another one there I put some water out as well when it was really hot got a few cherries I picked a couple this morning because what I've been doing is picking little bits of fruit and then taking them home and putting them in a pot and when I've got enough I'm going to make uh, a compot which I've, I think I've got a recipe on this channel somewhere I'll, uh, I'll put a card in if I, if I is still on here um, and it's a really nice way to use up like odds and ends of fruit and you can make it into like a little sauce that goes really nicely with cake and ice cream and stuff like that or on pancakes or breakfast in porridge so, yeah. a little pear growing i love how much this has worked like a little pear archway so yeah that's what i've been doing with all my fruit because i apparently share a lot of it with the birds which i don't really mind i've got some little strawberries that'll go in these guys, where are we going? This bad boy's growing. Look at him! It's my overachiever child. Huge. I've been loving the, like the, the weather. It's funny because you can oh this is growing as well. And you compare him to his little brother. <laughs> He'll get there. He'll get there. So this is starting to flower. is really nice. I did trim it a little bit uh, but I've mostly left it. You can see here look I get this beautiful gradient on it. It's one of my favourites. I love this guy. Got some little orange these things. There's my glasses hitting the camera. I'm sorry. Aren't they lovely? They spring up everywhere if you make space for them. Uh, oh this guy is well flowered. That looks like, to me, that looks like it could be on another world. It's amazing. And the funny thing is, I don't remember ever seeing these plants flower, but now that this one has, and I'm like, oh my God, it does. Um, all the other ones that I've seen have done it as well. I'm like, I don't ever remember seeing flowers on these plants. It's probably one of those things that has always happened. I've just never seen it. I've never paid attention. But 
Isn't that fun? Yeah. Alien. I love it. I just busted it the other day. I was like, oh my god. It's fabulous. Uh, strawberries are all growing. I've had a few strawberries. The, the wood lice keep getting them. Don't know what that's about. Grass. A little dianthus still going. So I have made a bit of a start on clearing this area before I had to have my thing. So we started like defining the islands. Uh, we went to a local garden centre that had, uh, which I've been to for many years, but I've never gone in the garden. They have like a big gardens attached where they have like geese and moorhens and there's some, um, oh, what are they called? guinea fowl uh, and I never noticed but they have like islands of planting kind of what I wanted and I was like was able to show Rob like this is what um what I think is this is what I, I want to do and um, so we've got a bit more of a defined idea here but everything's growing he cleared all of that for me so that's all a bit clearer so you can see the fruit it's growing there still needs to tidy in a bit but that's fine Everything's a bit wild, it's okay. Let's uh, so have a little look through here. We've got these gooseberries are growing. Grab a couple of them for my pot. And in my pocket. Oh, this was a surprise as well. I have to show you this. Look at me, Look at that. I thought that had died. I thought the collar was gone and then it's growing again, so I need to move that. Clear the lavender. Very neglected lavender. Oh. Uh, and this is the other thing that we've done. I say we. Rob did most of the work because the drops that I'm on make me useless. Um. So I helped where I could, but he did most of the work because I was just like sat on the floor. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Same as the one we did down the side. Pretty sturdy. Little, you know, it's like a proper fence. Needs painting. Rob was like, oh, you're going to cut the grass and uh, paint the fence before you do your tour. And I was like, no, you get what you get. Warts and all. So yeah, this is broke old trellis that I took from somewhere else on here. I can't remember where it was. Stuffed down the side somewhere. So that's been repurposed at both ends. Until I find something else. Gnomes. They're my sister's names. I'm not a fan of gnomes really. Uh, but they're from her plot when she had hers. They found their way over here. So now they live there. Yeah, so we've started clearing this. That's the gate that's going to go on it. This is actually the original the original gate to this plot um, when they were all differently numbered. So it's nice to be able to... I hadn't realised that I'd hung on to this, um, but obviously I had. And I'm kind of glad now. It just needs trimming and then it's going to go here. So this will be its own little enclosed area. Uh, I've got some weed control fabric to go down and I think I'm just going to put bark for the time being just so we can make the area usable until I decide what to do. I've started to clear. This is all rubbish that needs to go. This is all broken stuff. I've started clearing here. It's a big job. It's a big job. And I've moved some things over here. So I've started putting stuff down the side. Um, I don't know if I've had this up last time. It doesn't quite work. It didn't work how I thought it was going to work. It's really good though. Um, so it works and it doesn't work. It needs some tweaking. So I need to tweak this a little bit just to make it a bit more uh, aesthetic. I put some lavender in the pots in the front. Let's see if there's any strawberries down here. Oh, 
Oh, see, look. No wood lice getting the ball. There you go. You have that down there. I need to work out how to stop that from happening. Oh, focus. There we go. Okay. Let's head back up to... Little bumblebee friend. Get him go. I spent a lot of time looking at bumblebees. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I forgot the bird food. I came down to do. Let's see what the birds are mad at me. Oh, I'll come back later. I'll come back and do it. So, over here kind of a case of benevolent neglect. Uh, everything's grown but I haven't really done much. The only thing I've done is different is the water butt. I'm gonna go over here so you can see. So that's an old one. This is a new one. And I've put them here to make it easier because I, if I need to I can fill up the bucket and put that in. So this didn't have a lid so I've just got a so that doesn't get yeeted. I've got some water in there. This one's full. I've got the little lid on. Um, because I, I do think that, um, you know, I try to conserve water as best I can. And with the weather being the way it is, we're probably going to get some water restrictions coming in. So I think it's important to kind of future proof that. I probably will get some more because my plan is. is eventually to have a load of them so I don't have to rely on the water system here uh, which is a plan, a long term plan but we'll see if I get there Pigeons fighting Onions are growing I don't know if you can see the top of it down there You see, little guy's growing and then more onions and potatoes I could, I needed to earth these in a bit more, but like I said, I, I ended up having surgery, so that didn't happen. I think they're going to be okay. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I kind of want to un uncover these, but also the foxes and the cats tend to dig. So I don't want them digging up my potato and the squirrels as well. So I'm like, hmm, kind of want to uncover them, kind of need to leave them covered. I might uncover them and see how well it goes. There we go, I move that over there so that I can put water and seed on for the birds. They enjoy that. And then up here, everything's kind of growing. Doing pretty well. There's loads of birds nesting up there. Um, I was here the other day and I could hear all the babies, that was lovely. Yeah, this is all growing. He's ready to go. They're not quite ready yet. But yeah, so everything's growing, but I'm not making much progress. I'm trying not to beat myself up about it. I um, had a bit of a wobble this month. Um, so, well, I, I have that every so often. Have a little wobble. Because I don't really know what I'm doing. I just do stuff and hope for the best. I was hoping like after so many years of doing this I would have some kind of clue of what I'm doing but I still don't so <laughs> I'm just doing doing what I can. But yeah I think um, I've been thinking about this area and I think uh, I might do a little orchard somewhere because I generally share a lot of my produce with nature because when I first came here um, there wasn't much because this was just a wasteland and over the years as there's been more tasty things to eat and more places for them to hide and stuff to do more nature and wildlife has kind of come here so I don't want to take that away from them because um, you know, I want to live in kind of in harmony with the world around me, uh, but also I want to eat fruit. So 
my compromise is if I leave all of that open and just like share that area then I could maybe put in some stuff here that I could get a fruit cage or whatever and this could be my bit and that bit could be shared but we'll see plans change um, I have to play it by ear and just do what I can but yeah that's it another month gone very quick tour not much happening uh, but I shall see you next month hopefully I will have done a little bit more or at least have painted some stuff <laughs> um, well, thank you very much for watching there will be an end card coming up with some other stuff that I'm doing I am preparing for a bit of a rebrand we'll see we'll see how that goes um, so that's what I'm working on right now but thank you for watching I appreciate you uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.